What charming children. Yes, they're the little bastards, sir. Oh, you put them in uniform out here, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I be mother? Excuse me, gentlemen. Of course, Tony, sir. I promise you, darling, there are no snakes in this part of Africa. You've never been, been seen. Never been seen. <laughs> I don't believe you for a minute. Oh. oh, I have had a marvelous time. Pure pleasure. Me too. Oh, yes, except for all that officialdom. All those ghastly government sahibs to cope with, you poor darling. Bawanas, darling. Mm, what? I think they call Bawanas here. Oh. oh, I can just imagine it. All those stringy wives and spotty daughters gawping at you like crocodiles. Or oh, with sheer adoration, luckily for you. Or they've eaten you up. You've certainly done your bit to hold the Empire together. This is my job. Still, I think we've earned our little adventure together, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yes, but now the treat's over. Well, not quite. I thought that we'd do the last 40 miles together by car. The rest of them can pack up and then follow. Oh, darling. Oh, yeah. 
Joey would never allow you to go without an escort. Oh, yes, he will. With respect, sir, are you sure this is prudent? I don't see why not. I know the way. I'm afraid there is no way, sir. The country between here and Boy is absolutely trackless. All you know is the direction. That should be enough. I should hate you to lose it, sir. But after all, that can happen to anyone in the bush. I mean, you could have an accident, the car could break down, you might fall in. Can't you get worried, but my mind's made up. Get in, oh, my darling, would you? But at least let me send a guide with you, sir. I think I have all the company I need. Poor Joey. Awful little woman. Tell my darling. Mm -hmm. There won't be a chance to say goodbye properly at Boy. Here? Minding a search party. Sir? <sighs> Sir. David. 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 David! <sighs> Please, wake up. <sighs> oh. Please, God, make him wake up. Sir, now that you're feeling better, I'm afraid I have some rather unpleasant news for you. Please read this. Well, we must get home right away. Well, the light cruiser Enterprise is waiting to take you from Dar es Salaam, sir. Everything's packed up and ready to go the minute that you're fit. Well played, Joey. I am fit. That's a very good journey indeed. Thank you, Prime Minister. You know, from Brindisi on, Mussolini led me his own train. So I hear, sir. We got home very quickly. He certainly makes them run on time. Mr. Baldwin, how is the king? I do hope you'd be glad to see me. As to that, sir, your mother asked me to prepare you. For what? Well, sir, not to see His Majesty when you arrive at the palace tonight. He is too ill to see anyone at all. Not even me. The doctors say he is not to be disturbed by anybody. Well, let's wait and see. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, sir. Not at all, Mr. Gordon. It's very kind of you, thank you. Prime Minister, do please remember that you can always speak to me about anything. Thank you, sir.
with respect, sir, it is essential that His Majesty should be totally undisturbed. But you don't forbid me to see him. I can't do that, sir. But I will not take the responsibility. Lord Dawson, damn the responsibility, I'll take it. 